Hey, I'm Zach. Have you ever wanted to read an article like a newspaper off the internet? Me too. That's why I got Kindle's new app that they just started out with. It's called Instapaper. This is something that has been on iPhones in the past, so it's definitely an app that I suggest because it's got some support behind it. So, for example, as you see here, I'm reading an article about, I don't even know, main passion. It's a great article, I like it. But all these ads on the sides are distracting. So first what we're gonna do is install the Instapaper app. So we're gonna go into apps, and we can go to store, hit search store, Type Instapaper. And we have two here. We have unofficial Android and Instapaper for $2.99. The free version is just as good as the paid version, but it doesn't have as much support. And as it says, it's the unofficial version. Since I'm a broke college kid, that's the one I'm going to go with. I already have that installed. So now that we both have it installed, what we're going to do is go back to that article you were in. Tap the article and come down here and hit the little list looking button. And we're going to hit share page. What we're going to do is go to open Instapaper mobilizer free. It's going to open up a website. It's instapaper.com. And as you can see, no more articles. Sounds good to me. Just keep in mind you do have to install the app first in order to get the option underneath the share page menu. But now I don't have any ads. That works great for me. Thanks for watching. My name's Zach, and I just showed you how to use Instapaper on Kindle.